Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Bears and Reviews. Alright, so today, today we got the Vantru Mir 2. Once again, the Vantru Mir 2 dash cam uh, for your car, van, truck, or whatever you want to use it for. So, uh, in full disclosure, Vantru sent me this to do a honest review on it and that's what I'm going to do. So, um, this is a mirror that attaches over the mirror you already have uh, uh, in your car or van. And it just attaches right over it uh, with a few rubber bands on the outside. And you just clip it in. Then you attach a rear facing cam and a GPS unit and then you're good to go. So, what I'm, what I'm doing here is just unboxing the unit. We're going to take a look at it. And as you can see, it's pretty long. So it, uh, it's, it's definitely going to be longer than your rear view mirror that you have um, currently. And let's go ahead and take this out and look at that. It, uh, oh, you can see my head right there. It's an actual mirror. So uh, there's little spots on there, but uh, that's just a film that I'll remove later. So I'm just kind of checking out the unit. And as you can see, now you do have some old school USB ports there. That's one of the only things I don't like. I wish it had USB-C. Um, sorry, my camera's having a little bit of zoom issues, but you can see those are uh, the old school ports that are really old. Now, they're just used for power and the audio video, so that's fine. But sometimes you might need to plug into your computer, and those ports are so old, it's even hard to find a plug. Then you have your standard uh, SD slot and just a 3.5 millimeter cable. And it looks like a little power button with also a microphone on the bottom there. And then those are the clips on the left and the right where you're going to uh, put it in front of your rear view mirror and then you're going to use the little rubber clips to attach uh, to the back. Uh, the unit feels really good, uh, nice high quality there. Does not feel cheap at all. Then true, uh, I have another dash cam and another car of mine and I'm still using that today. Uh, they make really good products and they do well in the heat. It gets pretty hot here in California. Alright, as you can see it's a real mirror there. So this has a uh, forward-facing camera it's pretty nice uh, we'll go over the specs later I believe they said they have a Sony camera now Sony lens that they're using so that's pretty cool alright now let's just go through the box and see what we got alright so that's the rear-facing camera and you have a bracket and you can also use uh, the 3M uh, tape double-sided tape they have uh, for my needs I actually went with the bracket uh, those are the rubber straps that you're going to use to secure the unit to the mirror. And uh, this is the power cable that you can charge with through the cigarette lighter. Microfiber cloth. Some smaller straps if you have a smaller size mirror. Uh, brackets here. Let's see, what do we got here? There's the GPS unit that you'll attach with the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. Let's see, what do we have here? And this is the cable that's going to run from the rear facing camera all the way back to um, the dash cam. And I believe that's 20 feet there. And the red cable is for, um, that's going to, to to detect uh, the reverse motion. motion. Uh, standard USB that you're going to need. Once again, it's one of the older ones. Um, but you probably will need this cable because I don't think anyone carries those anymore. All right, you got some stickers here. Um, the clip removal tool and a manual so cool mirror 2 everything looks good I'm going to show you guys the van that I'm going to be installing this on so I'm going to install it right up there up top I'll show you that in a minute as you can see um, this van uh, has a rear view mirror but you can't see out of the back because uh, there's no back window so this is going to be a perfect place to put it where, where it's going to go right over this mirror we're going to plug into the cigarette lighter, just like so. Alright, so let's just go ahead and install the mirror. And you want to place it right over the rear view mirror and make sure the camera is not obstructed. And then when you got it in a nice uh, spot, just take the rubber straps and bring it right over. And if those aren't tight enough, you can get the smaller ones and uh, use those. But I found these long ones work fine for me the unit didn't move much. Once again, I apologize for my camera. 
uh, it goes in and out of focus quite a bit in this video. Okay, so it's really easy to strap on. It's nice and secure. And it looks really nice, to be honest. A lot better than the old rear view mirror. So we can just go ahead and take that off. Okay, now, um, now we've got everything in place there. I'm going to go ahead and start the rear view camera installation. Now, first, I thought I can stick it just to the bottom, and it was in a nice place, perfect uh, placement I had. But um, the back doors were not able to close. It was my fault. I should have checked that beforehand. So I had to install the, uh, I had to remove it, and then uh, use the brackets to install it uh, right here, as you can see. Not the most ideal place, but it did end up working out uh, fine. So with the bracket, you can angle the camera how you would like and then just tighten the sides. And as you can see, I have everything. Uh, that's pretty much the finished product, how I have it on the back. I was lucky um, there was a little, a, a little area where the cable can flow through right next to the original dash cam. And it just flows right out of the back there. So now all you have to do is just run the wire all the way back around and it was very easy in this van I didn't have to remove any panels any carpet or anything I just um, had it flow through the the top area here all the way to the front of the van so yeah very easy installation now the red wire I have not hooked up yet that is for the reverse camera uh, I'll do that at a later date I just didn't have the time to do right now but that red wire will go uh, and connect to the reverse lights and then it will activate the reverse camera. So I just shimmy this all the way through to the front just making sure not to cut the wire. And then I brought it right down through the front and attached it just like so right underneath the panel. Very easy. Didn't have to remove um, anything. And it doesn't look too bad either. It just comes right down like so. And that little black plate covers it. All right, now I'm moving on to the GPS unit. Same thing, I'm just sticking that in the upper right-hand corner. And just kind of tucking the wire up in the panel. It's really easy. And then we'll just go ahead and place that... Uh, 3.5 millimeter jack in place and that's almost it now we just need to do the power I'm just gonna place that in like so and run that to the secret lighter now I'm gonna tuck this cord in later I just wanted to power on just for a second to see how it looks to check out the menu and just to make sure it turned on all right next up we need to install the micro USB card Sorry about the one-handed, but uh, I'm a one-man operation here. So I was able to get that out. And I actually had an extra one of these from an old dash cam that I bought that my friend doesn't use. So that came in handy. So right at the top is the slot for the micro SD. And just be careful. Mine popped out on me a couple times when I was trying to remove it. And it did fall to the ground. All right, now we're just gonna turn on the ignition and let the dash cam turn on. All right, so that's the rear view cam, which looks really nice. Look at that wide angle view that you get. Really nice. You can actually move up and down on the screen too. You can slide it like I just did. And you can get the front you can get split screen and then you can get the back and like I said you can actually move up and down as well I do wish they had a zoom out feature I haven't seen that yet maybe they'll be able to add that with a future upgrade okay so now I'm just gonna go in settings so you need to stop recording and go in settings and um, if I can get this to focus correctly you'll see some of the menu items there so you got language, 
setting date and time, your storage where you can actually um, format your card and stuff like that. So you've got your resolution, your frame rate, your loop recording, your video mode, your rear camera flip. If the camera's upside down, you can flip it. Audio recording, G sensor, parking mode, exposure, frequency, device sound, your prompt tone, your auto LSD. I'm sorry, LSD, <laughs> LCD. I'm sorry. Your GPS, your stamp, your default settings you can reset, and your system info. So as you can see, there's a whole boatload of settings you can go through here. Um, and if you leave everything on the on default, it's perfectly fine. But I'm going to change a couple settings here. So first thing you want to do is obviously format your card. So just like so, just press OK twice. And it'll go ahead and clear the card data. All right, now that my format's successful, I have 233 gigabytes of free space. Okay, so I'm just checking through the menus here, showing you guys what they look like. Got the date and time, your time zone. You have the format reminder. You can also drop the resolution. If you don't need 1440, you could do 1080p or 720. You got your loop recording. I'm actually going to switch that to five minutes. I want mine to be a little longer. Okay, my video mode, I'm going to switch that to MP4 as well, just because it's more compatible with the devices I use. We'll leave the audio recording on. And you got your G sensor, parking mode. You have collision detection, your time lapse, and motion detection. You've got your exposure for your front sensor. Your frequency, I'm going to switch that to 60 hertz. device sound, your prompt tone. You have the auto LCD off as well if you want it to uh, shut off. I might, I'm going to turn that um, on to probably five minutes but when I install the reverse camera that way you don't have to be staring at the screen while you're driving. So that's a cool feature. You have your LCD brightness as well. So we'll go ahead and just leave that off for now until I install the reverse. And we have the reverse setting. Reverse image, reverse aid. So that's, um, and this you can actually adjust up and down, left and right, which is cool. But like I said, I don't have the reverse um, uh, wire installed yet. So we're just going to go ahead and skip that for now. But it does work uh, very well. It'll even give you all the beeps that you need when you're backing up. Okay, default settings, and then system info is the last. And you can see your firmware version, your website, and the model that you have. All right, so with that said, we're just going to back up. We're going to format the SD card one more time because now we're going to update the firmware. So just scroll back, format the SD card, turn off power, and then grab the micro SD card out of the unit. We'll place it into its adapter. And then insert. All right, and after the SD card is inserted, go ahead and go over to vantrue.net. Then you're going to want to go over to, uh, right on the top, go to Products, and then select Dash Cam. Then you can just scroll to the Dash Cam that you have. I'm using the Vantru M2 Mirror 2. And you're going to want to go over to where it says Vantru Dash Cam Firmware Update. Go ahead and download that bin file, and just save it to your downloads. 
All right, now that it's saved, you're going to want to go over and just open where the file location is of the file and just copy it or cut it and paste it onto the Van True SD card. And the SD card should be empty because you just formatted it. Now go ahead and eject the SD card. And let's head back over to the mirror too. Take out the SD card and go ahead and insert it back into the mirror. All right, and once you do that, you're going to want to remove the power cable. And go ahead and grab the included power cable that came in the box. And go ahead and plug that into the power. And then the other end, you can plug into a wall charger or to a laptop. After you do that, just boot up your laptop, and the Vantrue mirror will automatically update its firmware. This only takes about a minute or two, and then after it's done, it'll reboot on its own. Okay, now that it's finished, it's going to go ahead and reboot. and just like that and it'll run you through this setup again. You can go ahead and go to system info and check the software version that you have to check uh, if the firmware installed. Alright now go ahead and remove the data cable and replug back in your power cable just like so and then the Vantru mirror should go ahead and boot up and there it is all right, so let's go take this thing for a real-world driving test. So I'm just going to give you a couple minutes of footage here. Just letting you know what the thing has. we got the, the Van True. we got the date, the GPS location, your miles per hour. Um, we have 2.5K full HD resolution, enhanced night vision and HDR. We have the reversing aid system. Um, we have the IPS full touchscreen and, like I said, GPS tracking. It's got a parking monitor. If you um, have a plug that stays active while the car is off, you'll be able to use the uh, parking monitor. So if anyone comes close to your vehicle, it can go, um, it'll detect. You have the G sensor and loop recording. Um, you also have the mirror image that you can rotate the backwards camera. I mean, this thing is packed loaded. The specs are amazing. Like I said, you have the um, Sony camera. Uh, the front and rear mode resolution, 1440p, 1080p, you have 30 frames a second, uh, adjustable re uh, reversing aid lines, it's built with super capacitors so it doesn't um, overheat. You got up to 512 uh, memory capacity, so this thing is, um, it's, it's well built, well made, I highly recommend it. Um, I didn't even think I would need something like this for my van, but uh, when they sent this to me, I'm like, this is uh, actually really good. Uh, so this is something that uh, I definitely would purchase, especially if you cannot see out of the back of your van, or if you don't have a rear view dash cam in your car. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and transition to the rear camera, and you can see it looks very good as well. Uh, my only gripe would be that it looks like the frame width was a little bit low uh, when I was actually viewing it in the mirror itself, but uh, from the footage it looks uh, great. As you can see, you get a wide angle shot. You can see cars coming on the side of you, behind you. Um, yeah, very impressed with the Sony uh, sensors that they put in the Venture. Um, yes, uh, it looks very, very good. Um, this is definitely something uh, for the rear that almost should be a must in all in all vans okay so now what we're doing is this is just some cell phone footage of me driving and kind of what it looks like it doesn't do it justice uh, in person it looks a lot more clear but this is just me driving just showing you what it looks like from a cell phone uh, vantage point 
All right, we are driving inside of the van. We got the Van True uh, Dash Mirror 2 going on right now, and it's looking pretty good. I'm getting a live view of the front and the rear as I drive. Uh, really like this thing. As I said, uh, the van I have, if you can see behind me, I cannot see. I don't even have a rear view mirror because there's no point. Well, I do have one, but you can't see through the back. So this comes in really really handy for vans uh, even cars if you don't have a rear view uh, mirror or uh, a rear view dash cam or a front dash cam so this is something that I really really highly recommend uh, this is going to be a great addition to our van now I can see behind me in front of me um, I can swipe left swipe right record the footage take pictures this is a phenomenal one I really really like it with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, you guys. I'll put the link in the description to where you could buy uh, the dash cam. And uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe on the video. And we will see you guys on the, ne uh, on the next one. Thank you, Ventru, for sending me this. I will be using this anytime I'm driving my van. So, with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.